Hey there, today we're going to look at the constant and static keywords in C-sharp, specifically in a Unity project. I'll explain what they do and when you should use them. First, let's take a look at const. The const keyword is used before a field to declare that its value is constant and can't change. Because it can't change, the value has to be assigned where it's declared. And this might seem like a limitation, but it's a good one in the right scenarios. The most obvious is to replace magic numbers. These are numbers that are known and mapped to something else like the number of rows on a chessboard or the maximum inventory size your game supports. Replacing those numbers with constants makes the code easier to read and find where the things are used. I'd rather search for something like constants.maxplayers than for any day. But when you build your game, the compiler actually replaces all of those instances like our max players with the literal value for. It takes the constant and just does replacement in the intermediate language code or the IL code so it doesn't actually look at a variable at all, which is a tiny little performance benefit. This is the first place where static variables differ, but there are quite a few. A static variable can be modified, though you can limit that with the read-only attribute, but we'll save that for a different time. With the static keyword, we make a variable have only one instance per class. If I add static to the beginning of a field, it no longer has a unique value per instance. It's just that one tied to the class type instead. This would be terrible for something like health, but it's great when you want to keep track of something common, like the number of characters that are active and alive. A really common use for the static keyword is singletons. Unlike the constant keyword, the static one can be used on properties, and when it's used like this, it becomes really easy to access any mono behavior that there's only one of, because we're assigning the object right to that static property. And this works fine with fields too, but properties with private setters are usually used to avoid overriding this accidentally. Static can also be used for a few other things than fields and properties, though, and it's important to cover those. First, a method or function can be static. When it is, the method won't have access to non-static fields of the class or non-static methods. You may have seen the recommendation, this can be made static in your code editor. If you see that, it's because the method doesn't use any fields or other non-static methods in your class, so it doesn't need to have an instance of the object to be used. When you do see that recommendation, though, don't make the change right away. Think about it for a moment and think about if you're going to start referencing something in there because you might change it to static and then immediately have to change it right back. So that's why I always give it a little bit of thought before I make that change. Now static can also be used for events and this is one that I do quite often. In fact, I did an entire video about it and I'll link that down in the description. But here's an example showing that counter using some events to see how you could do it without an update and putting it in kind of tying these all together. Speaking of tying them together, the last thing I want to mention is static classes. A static class requires everything to be either Either static or constant so you won't see too many of them they're commonly used as things like wrappers and utility type classes but you'll also see a lot of static classes just holding constants and kind of bringing the two of these things completely together that's it for this overview if you want to learn more keywords make sure you're subscribed and if you want to learn everything I know make sure to check out the courses at game.courses and if you have a phone check out the game dev show podcast on Spotify or whatever platform you listen on